Each night I climb the stairs up to my room It seems I hear you whisper in the gloom It's your pictures on the wall And your footsteps in the hall Now I'm crying my heart out for you Now I'm crying my heart out over you Oh, blue eyes, now they smile with someone new Ever since you went away I died
Heather and fall of 93 in the hills of Tennessee. She was barely 17, he was tall and strong and lean. They were deep in love by June. Hand in hand beneath that moon where they sing a little blue ridge found song. He just hung along. They dance all night till dawn. Married in her mama's wedding gown, bought a house and settled down. He worked driving all around, on a log from town to town. Then he'd come home every night. She'd be waiting in the front porch line where they'd sing, sing a little blue ridge mountain song. He just hung along. They dance all night till dawn. Couldn't tell him what was wrong, they just didn't know. And it wasn't very long till Jesus called him home. Then he got down on his knees, said, God, don't take my love from me. He just let her sing, sing a little blue ridge mountain song like she has all along. They dance on. Yeah. 
Frank Halsey. So if you would, help me with a great big Mount Sterling welcome for Mr. Frank Green. <laughs> There you go. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. This is uh, great, and uh, we could be out enjoying all the sun today, right? So, I, my name's Brink. You know, everybody says, "What Brink? What does that mean?" I've been, I've been known as Brink since I was two years old. So, uh, my dad was named Brink, and he had nine brothers, and they were all Brink. And so, it's like George Foreman. Everybody's named George, and uh, so. Uh, that's how I got this. I've been real fortunate. I see a lot of friendly faces I hadn't seen for a long time. And, uh, but I've been fortunate to have uh, been writing songs all my life, and I've been uh, very fortunate to have a lot of bands. In fact, probably half the bands on the wall here have recorded my songs over the years, which is kind of cool to see. I've, I've had close to 500 songs recorded that I've written, and... Uh, I've written about 5,000 songs, and we're not going to do every one today, so <laughs> you're going to hear that. But uh, we'll tell the stories behind all these songs, you know, and, uh, and how they get written. It's kind of a black box thing, isn't it, where how these songs get written anyway. And uh, uh, I'm going to start out. We'll get one. I'll have to apologize. I don't do this song as good as Russell Moore. You everybody know Russell Moore? Yeah. I wrote this song, and, uh, and he does it a lot higher than I do, too, because Russell's got a lot higher voice than I do. But I, I co-wrote this with my friend Becky Buller, and everybody knows Becky, I think, around there. And uh, uh, Becky and I were supposed to do a webinar. I didn't even know what a webinar was at the time for IBMA on co-writing. And... Uh, so they contacted me and Becky, and they said, we want you to do a webinar on co-writing. I they said, and we want you to play a song that you co-wrote. And at the time, we had never co-wrote a song. <laughs> so I had had this idea for a long time. I'd, I'd always thought Cottontown, Tennessee is kind of a, like a suburb of Nashville. I don't know if you know where that is, but I always thought that was a cool name, and I had a chorus on this and some words. and threw it out there and her and I finished it. And I started out, it, it, it became a number one song for Russell Moore and Third Time Out. And uh, it's just called Cotton Town. I got 
uh, I've been real fortunate to have uh, the band Sideline record four of my songs over the years. And, uh, you know, Steve Dillon's a good friend of mine, and I know they come around Columbus quite often, play at Natalie's, and uh, I've been so fortunate to have them uh, record songs. And I'm their slow guy. Most of the time, when the sideline plays a slow song, that's the one I, I wrote. And, I don't, uh, and Steve, of course, he's a banjo player, and I don't think he's ever played any banjo on any of my songs. But he loves them anyway. This one I wrote um, uh, quite a while ago, and uh, it's, uh, I forget where the idea came from, it's just, uh, but it's, uh, they play it live now, and I hope you enjoy it. It's one called Southern Wind. We'll send this out to Ralph back there. He's a big sideline fan, and, uh, but it's called Southern Wind. I long to walk across green pastures, taste and smell my country roots, put on a pair of overalls and my favorite worn out boots. Feel the Carolina wind blowing hard against my face. These are timeless memories no one can erase. Well, I couldn't reach the pedals of our rusty old John Deere. So I stood in front of Daddy, and he would let me steer. As we plowed, he told me stories of what country people do. How God, hard work, and family would always see you through. And it's yes, sir, and thank you, ma'am. In a frying pan, a heart of gold and an iron hand made me who I am. Now I barely recognize the place where we held hands and dad said grace. They're tearing down the old home place, it's sold. Today the southern wind is blowing cold. Well, I stood in total silence as the last stone hit the ground. A slow motion replay of my childhood crashing down. Of summer moons and music, good friends and old time hymns. Those days are numbered, gone with the southern wind, and it's Yes, sir, and thank you, ma'am. Biscuits in a frying pan. A heart of gold and an iron hand made me who I am. Now I barely recognize the place where we held hands and dad said grace. They're tearing down the old home place. It's sold. Today the southern wind is blowing cold. Well, I barely recognize the place where we held hands and dad said grace. They're tearing down the old home place. It's sold. Today the southern wind is blowing cold. Today the southern wind is blowing cold. Thank you. Um, you know, sometimes you write a song that you don't think is going to get recorded. You write it for your own personal reasons. And I've got one now. This, uh, this song I wrote quite a few years ago now, and it was about my grandfather. My grandfather was from Norway. He came over when he was 13 years old. I always had a heavy Norwegian accent. You, I'll sure you betcha and all that good stuff, you know. And uh, he, uh, as a kid, I always re remember him drinking coffee out of the saucer. Anybody know anybody do that? You know, 
pour it in the saucer and drink it, you know. And I always thought he was the only one that did that. Come to find out after I wrote this song that uh, there's a lot of people that did that. And, uh, <clears throat> and this song, uh, I had the Spinney Brothers stop by the house out here in Pickerington one day. And I played them about 35 songs that afternoon. I made them, I made them Wisconsin beer brats, and they loved those. So I bribed them with that, and then uh, they ended up recording this song uh, about my grandfather, and uh, it went to number one. It was one of their first number one songs. It was uh, nominated for Song of the Year, and uh, didn't win, but we were pleased it was nominated. And maybe you know somebody like this. There's a lot of truth in this about my grandfather, so... Drank his coffee from a saucer. He played. Uh, he played trombone with Tommy Dorsey for a while. Taught himself he, he, eighth grade education. He taught himself to play trombone and fiddle. And uh, and uh, just uh, you know, he's been gone a long time now. But this was a song about him called Grandpa's Way of Life. You may have heard it. Drank his coffee from a saucer, rolled his smokes from an old tin can. He could play Sally Gooden on the fiddle. Yeah, he was grandma's kind of man. Spent it, spent it, so it, so hours behind the plow mule. Spent six days a week behind the plow mule. There we go. Turning acres into rows He'd even get up early Sunday mornings Put on his only Sunday clothes And I wonder how things got so complicated You know it's hard to find a good old Barlow knife And I'd love to throw computers out the window And go back to my grandpa's way of life In the 30s, he tried to give up farming, sold electric power door to door. He swore he'd never buy a German auto after he got back in 44. His hands and words were stronger than iron. And son, you could take that to the bank. Every day when we got in the harvest, Grandpa always knew just who to thank And I wonder how things got so complicated You know it's hard to find a good old Randall knife And I'd love to throw cell phones out the window And go back to my grandpa's way fix anything with baling wire and duct tape. He called them God's essential tools. He never had much use for the TV, all except for Walter Cronkite's evening news. He only had an eighth grade education, no diploma hanging just for show. When it came to teaching me a lesson, He'll always be the smartest man I know And I wonder how things got so complicated If I could hear his fiddle play tonight I'd throw that computer out the window And go back to my grandpa's way of life I'd just go back to my grandpa's way of life A lot of that's true, some of it's not, but you know, you got that's artistic license is what they call that, I guess, you know. Glad to see a lot of familiar faces uh, 
Uh, Mark Bondurant is here along with Kyle Augie. And what are your friends? What's your? Steve Green. What was that? I said Steve Green, Dayton, Ohio. Okay, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to do this song. The three of us wrote this next song, and it hasn't been recorded yet. And we want Joe Mullins to record it. Mark wrote a song that you may have heard of called Bacon in My Beans. So uh, there you go. A rousing ovation. There you go. But anyway, we, uh, they came last time we were up here. They came over to the camper and, and uh, shared a few ideas. And this is one that stuck. And uh, probably because I think if you've ever been around small towns, which I know y'all have, that every town has one or two little small country diners. And you can see them in your mind. I mean, you've been in every one of them. When I, I live down in Florida now, a place called Donellan, Florida, which is near the Gulf Coast, north of Tampa, about two hours. And in our little town, we have a, a Tuesday breakfast called the Romeo Group, which is retired old men eating out. <laughs> and uh, we have breakfast every Tuesday morning. And there's a lot of that in this song right here. And, and if you've ever been in one of those small diners, you can listen to the words and see if you, you've been here. It's called Small Town Country Diners. I hope I don't screw it up now. They got a turkey hot shot special and your favorite meat and three and endless cup of coffee and the county's best sweet tea. The meatloaf and the menu, well, they haven't changed at all. The first dollar bill they ever made is framed up on the wall. See that? Where there's Fred back on the griddle, he could always make you laugh. The Picasso of the pancake in an apron and small cap. Folks don't need the internet, they get their news from Rose. Thirty years behind the counter, from opening to close. It's American small town country diners. Homemade ice cream and a slice of apple pie. American small town country diners Home cooking and comfort on the side That big table in the corner It always fills up fast It's where the old men gather To make up lies about the past while music in the background plays Hank Williams' greatest hits, they're solving the world's problems over gravy and grits. It's American small town country diners, homemade ice cream and a slice of apple pie. America's small town country diners. Home cooking and comfort on the side. It's almost like a second home. It's a welcome you can feel. A small town country diner serves up more than just a meal. It's American small town country diner. Homemade ice cream and a slice. Apple pie, American small town country diners, home cooking and comfort on the side, home cooking and comfort on the Uh-huh.
Thank you. How many people have been in that place? Yeah, been, there you go. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. speaking of food, we're going to do one. This is a song that Nick Chandler uh, and Delivered uh, just recorded, and it'll be out probably the next, I think, August or September. And uh, it's one I've pitched for a long time. I wrote it with a good friend of mine, and you, people may know Dale Pyatt. I don't know if people know Dale Pyatt. He's, he's been up the Mac a lot of times, and uh, unfortunately he passed away of cancer at 59 a, few years, a couple of years, three years ago now. It goes by fast, don't it? And uh, he texted me, he was living in St. Petersburg, and he, he was in Bob Evans, and he texted me these words. He said, that woman drives me crazy, but I love her more than biscuits and gravy. <laughs> and I said, we're gonna write that song right there. So and now, it's, now it's been recorded, you'll hear it. Too. You can sing along, you know what, this is the last one. I love her more than biscuits and gravy. I wanna hear you. Her country smile made me a believer And like Johnny Cash we married in a fever That woman, she always drives me crazy But I love her more than biscuits and gravy When we fight, I always surrender When we said I do, I knew it was forever Together till we're pushing up days I love her more than biscuits and gravy I promised her the land of milk and honey But we're drinking beer and eating fried bologna I work two jobs, she still calls me lazy But I love her more than biscuits and gravy And when we fight, I always surrender said I do, I knew it was forever, together till we're pushing up daisies, I love her more than biscuits and gravy, well she complains we're always out of money, and tells me that my jokes just ain't funny, but when I screw up, she's always there to save me. That's why I love her more than biscuits and gravy When we fight, I always surrender When we said I do, I knew it was forever Together till we're pushing up daisies I love her more than biscuits and gravy Work together Let's see where to go. I got some requests. I better get a, to them. This is a, this is a song that I wrote about my mother, and uh, Jeanette Williams recorded this, and did a wonderful job on it. And uh, I think Lorraine Jordan is recording it right now. Um, I wrote this, and I'll tell you the story behind it. We were down. Uh, my mother had cancer for many years on and off, you know, remission, back out, back and finally, as most cancers do, they eventually get you. And, uh, and I, had, I had been up in Wisconsin uh, visiting her and, and we knew it was coming near the end and uh, we had a, uh, I think I was with her about two, uh, 10 days, something like that. And then over Mother's Day weekend, that particular year, we had a bluegrass jam every year over Mother's Day weekend in, in West Virginia at a little 4-H camp down near uh, uh, Hinton, West Virginia. And so uh, we packed up the kids. I said, well, Mom, I can stick around. And, and she said, well, I'm not going to die feeling guilty that I kept you from a bluegrass jam. So, <laughs> so uh, and we had pretty much said everything we were going to say anyway. So we went down there. And, and uh, she, uh, she loved cardinals, the Redbirds. She just loved them all. Uh, had cardinal plates, you know, pictures and embroideries of cardinals, statues of cardinals, everything, red, everything redbirds, so, and that's what, uh, all over their house, and uh, so we were down at the jam, on, it was Saturday before Mother's Day, 
and uh, my sister was with her and I talked to her on, and this was days of the payphone yet, so this goes back 20 years. And in the middle of the campground was a payphone. I called Saturday night and my sister Sarah told, told me it wasn't looking too good. And, uh, and so uh, I said, well, I'll call you tomorrow morning. I remember we were on the Greenbrier River down there and it was a bright sunny morning and uh, I called home Sunday morning and my sister just said, uh, well, mom's gone. And uh, I kid you not, at that moment, a cardinal landed on top of that pole uh, where the phone was. And that, that triggered this idea for this song. And I'll throw this out. Stacy likes it and Dodie, where are you at? I like to, over there, this is all for you guys. It's one of my favorites to do, so. And I hope you like it. It's called Mama Love the Redbirds. the red bird she used to watch him fly paint a pretty picture in the blue virginia sky nothing she liked better than to hear the red bird sing mama love the red bird fed them in the winter time couldn't wait till spring when they had their baby she gave them all a name she would sit for hours talking to them all Mama loved the red bird She'd say when I get to heaven in my Savior's care I'll send down a red bird you'll know that I am there And he'll sing pretty music like none you've ever heard Mama loved the red bird Mama used to tell us when it comes her time We were not to worry, she'd be doing fine There with her Jesus, she'd send down a sign Mama love the red bird She'd say when I get to heaven in my Savior's care I'll send down a red bird, you'll know that I am there And he'll sing pretty music like none you've ever heard Cause mama loved the red bird On a warm Virginia hillside Gathered at the tomb Sun was a shining Lilacs were in bloom There above the casket Sitting on a wire A whole host of red birds Singing like a choir Say when I get to heaven in my Savior's care, I'll send down a red bird, you'll know that I am there. And you will sing pretty music like none you've ever heard. Mama love the red bird. Yeah, mama love the red bird. Let's see. I've got one here. This is uh, this is a new one. You may have heard it on XM radio in the last few months. Uh, I wrote this one a while back for a, a band, Steve Thomas in the in the Time Machine, and uh, it's it's called "Play Me the Blues, Mississippi." Anybody ever heard that one? Yeah, yeah there you go. And. Uh, so we'll do this one. It's kind of fun when you can sing along on the chorus. Play me the blues, Mississippi. His name was Zachariah, but they called him Mississippi because he played the Delta blues all his life. Had five strings on his guitar. Drank moonshine from a jar, had an old straw hat, and smoked a little corn cob pie. Well, he used to pick the cotton, now he picks four dimes and quarters. But in the end, the money's about the same. And when he hammers down, all the young folk gather round. The river rolls and the sweat pours out like rain. 
They say play me the blues, Mississippi. Sing them hurting songs running through your blood. Play me the blues, Mississippi. Make it dirty like that greasy delta mud. Well, if you don't find him fishing or sleeping down at the mission, he'll be singing about the poverty and pain. And you can't help but cry when he sings about mama dying. She bears his soul in every last refrain. And they say, play me the blues, Mississippi. Sing them hurting songs running through your Sundown Saturday night to sunrise Sunday morning. He'll be preaching now the gospel of the blues. You'll hear chapter and verse when Mississippi's holding church and picking out some big Joe Williams too. And this ain't play me the blues, Mississippi. Sing them hurting songs running through. There you go. Let's see here. I always have a set list and then I never do any of them. Just, just kind of, is that all right with you? I just kind of go for it. This one uh, I wrote. Uh, it's another one the Spinney Brothers recorded, and probably one of their, it's not as well known as Grandpa's Way of Life, but it was a number one on the Roots radio, uh, Roots charts. And I wrote it uh, never thinking it would be recorded either. It was kind of like I got to thinking one day, what if I wrote a letter, if I could sit down and write a letter to myself back when I was 16 years old, you know, what I know now and tell my 16-year-old self, uh, give him some advice. And I wrote this song, and uh, I had played it on the piano. I wrote it on the piano. And I put it up online, and, and I was at a festival where the Spinney Brothers were, and, and Alan and Rick came over, and he said, we're going to record another one of your songs. And I said, which one? Bluegrass song. And they said, we're going to do Letter to Myself. And I, I said, really? I said, I did that on the piano. And that's a slow song. And they said, well, we love it. And they did it and recorded it. And it went to number one on the Roots, roots charts. It's one, it's, it's one of those things where I like the song. And I know, didn't know if anybody cut it or not, but I hope you like it. It's, uh, uh, it's got a lot of truth to it, I think. Most of the songs I write have some element of me in it. That's the only way I know how to write. This is called Letter to Myself. If I remember it. <laughs> if I could write a letter to myself when I was young And mail it back 40 years and tell of things to come If it could be delivered on the day I turned 16 Well this is what I'd write If I could tell him anything I'd say spend more time with Grandpa He'll be gone in one short year The things you think are problems They aren't worth the tears and don't be tricked by the devil All in the name of fun And 
when he comes a calling, we'll just turn around and run. And you won't believe how fast the years go by. So grab on to your dreams and just hang on for the ride. Life is made for living. Don't leave nothing on that shelf. That's what I'd write that kid in a letter to myself. I'd say, listen to your daddy and what he's got to say. I know you'll tune him out. You'll get up and walk away. But there'll come a time you'll long for all those lines you never heard. And you would trade a fortune to hear him say just one more word. And I know you'll cry for Jenny when she breaks up with you. And I could save you all that heartache and the pain she put you through. Cause you'll meet a lovely lady and take her for your wife. And 35 years later, you'll still love her more than life. And you won't believe how fast the years go by. So grab on to your dreams and hang on for. I'd write that kid in a letter to myself. That's what I'd write that kid in a letter to myself. So hand out the tissues now. <laughs> Tyler, you want to sing a couple in a minute? Yeah. Right, I'll do one more here, and Tyler's going to come up. Where Tyler sang on my album, uh, about, it's probably 12, 15 years ago now. You were just like five years old back then. I'll do one, this one. This is a song I wrote called Tumbleweed Town, and I got this idea watching the news. You get ideas from all over. Did you, ever, did you watch when Jeff Bezos sent his Blue Origin up into space, you know? Oh, he went up into space there. To, and they launched from a place called Van Horn County, Texas. And, uh... That's his house band, so we're going to go this one. <laughs> anyway, uh, they had an interview with the... Because the whole news media was going to, like, come on this little town in Texas. And they had one motel, like 28 rooms. And, and she said, I, I, are you, I know if we're ready for all this news media. He says, I just hope they don't come down here and think we're just another tumbleweed town. So that gave me, I wrote that down. I said, that's too good to leave go. So here's, here's tumbleweed town. Then we'll get Tyler up here to sing a few with me. stoplight ain't worked in years life moves pretty darn slow around here there's a hard west wind through a texas town it'll blow it away if it ain't nailed down they got a baptist church and a liquor store one's for friday night the other sunday morn got nothing but friends for miles around that's why I stay in this tumbleweed town. Oh, tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town. I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town. Well, the 
storm can turn the sky to black Then the blood red sun will burn your back A hard life here is understood Oh, but it's the heart that makes it good In this tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town Well, the folks out here won't be controlled They've got leather skin and hearts of gold but kinder souls just can't be found Love flows like a river through a tumbleweed town In this tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town Oh, I've loved and worked this barren land So bury my soul in the Texas sand Put a marble stone down in the ground and he never left this tumbleweed town Oh, tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town Oh, tumbleweed town, tumbleweed town I ain't leaving this tumbleweed town There we go. on there. I've known Tyler, how long have we known each other now? Uh, 03, 04. 03, 04, that's a long time ago. Like I said, I was in diapers. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we go back a long way and uh, how many people know Tyler? Tyler Williams. Yeah. And uh, I was lucky enough, Tyler's put several of my songs on his, his album, yeah. Poor Man from Richmond. And we did Heavenly Hills. We did Heavenly Hills. We can maybe do that one too, you know, if you want. Yeah. You know the words to those things? Oh, yes. Hell yeah. You do. We put it on there? Mm -hmm. You yeah. want to sing lead or you want me to sing harmony? I'll do lead. On what, Bluestone? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, I'll do, yeah, I'll, I'll do lead on Bluestone. All right. It's right here, buddy. We're having a board meeting up here. Don't have to be real close. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, a it's a it's a tru ear, tru ear, trumpet ear trumpet one. <laughs> yeah, trumpet that's... ear. Yeah. This is another one. We'll do this song. I wrote this that when I talked about the weekends we'd have down in uh, Hinton, West Virginia. I wrote this song and the next one we'll do, the old coal mine, on the same weekend. It was a good weekend down there in West Virginia. The New River Gorge. You ever been down the New River Gorge? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful down there. And uh, but there's Bluestone Lake and Bluestone Park and Bluestone Mountain and Bluestone this and that. So I made up this story, and uh, it was recorded by Don Rigsby mm -hmm. back in the '90s. Went to number one for Don. It was my first number one song. I've been fortunate to have written 23 number one songs in my life. So, uh, <clears throat> This is uh, this is was the first. This is where it started out. So you go sing lead. Yeah, but funny so, story. No, this one, this one, you got to turn like this. It's, uh, oh, uh, it's not. It's a like a. Go ahead. Uh, check one. Oh, I, I see it now. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. I, fun, funny story about this tune too. First time I ever met him, we were down at the bluegrass shop up in uh, Columbus, and we were sitting there, and uh, he, you know, he started playing it. Uh, I, I said, oh, I, I said, oh, you know that song? He said, no, and I wrote it. <laughs> I'm like, no, you, no, uh, <laughs> sure enough, yeah. Getting a little further so, away from you, it's getting no, back there. Yeah, a little bit. No. All right, try that now. All right, here, oh, I, I got it. Got her? Yep. All right. So we'll do this called Blue Storm. I'll let Tyler sing this one. Give my divorce a rest. Ready? Here 
hear the sound of a young girl crying. See Cora living alone. Oh, shit. Bloody Civil War made her a widow. But little Jacob was her lifeblood and her pride. Some say it's the wind through the canyon as it blows along some sound through the pines. Some say it's the sound of the river. But I say it's just Cora Jones' cry. Sometimes I wonder if God watches Sometimes life can turn in cruel ways But on a cold autumn day in late October Little Jacob wondered if Scott not okay See the caves of West Virginia run forever Like a maze of black ribbon through the ground Cora went to search for little Jacob, but neither Jake nor Cora would be found. Some say it's the wind through the canyon, as it blows along some sound through the pines. Some say it's the sound of the river, but I say it's just Cora Jones cry. If you wander through the hills of West Virginia, down where the green briar winds, just turn your ear toward Blue Stone Mountain. You just might hear the sound of a young girl cry. since we've done that, we didn't really miss a whole lot. <laughs> this one, uh, I was lucky enough to have uh, Larry Sparks record this on his uh, uh, album, uh, what was it, Last Suit You Wear album. Yeah, that's what right. It was. It's the lead off. And this went to number one for Larry, but it's not really one of his well-known songs. He had Del McCurry singing too. Yeah, Del McCurry, it was have. a duet with, with Larry Sparks and Del McCurry, which is, you can't, you can't do much better than that, so. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll try to squeak out Dell's part. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
never leave this mining town. My whole world, it's underground. If you need me, I can be found, Lord, Lord, down in that old coal mine. I'm down in the old coal mine. Have a ring and be time. Long for the sun to see it shine. But I'm down. This is this one I wrote. I, I, um, you want to do it in C? C, no way. Yeah, let's do it. Well, you're. I'm not gonna. You're harmonizing. Okay. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it in B. I can't B. sing it that high anymore. This one I wrote. I was driving around Southern Ohio. I remember, you know where Peebles is, right? We actually, I was riding, uh, driving around down in there, and uh, there's a lot of hills down in that area, and I just. I just had this idea that came to me and it says, when the heavenly hills come calling for me. And I went back and wrote this song. Tyler put it on his album. He's got what, double, triple fiddles? Or yeah, whatever. triple fiddles, Triple yeah. fiddles on there and everything. It's called, when the heavenly hills come calling for me. I've lived my life in the hills of Virginia. Heaven on earth, God's blessings I've seen. But my hair has turned gray, and my time here is ending. Soon the heavenly hills will come calling for me. Calling me home to the banks of the river.
Thank you, Tyler. Hey, no problem, man. All righty. I think your mom's coming up here. We're going to get you off of here. What did you think of that? That's pretty good stuff, ain't it? Can you get it? That's a lot of fun. We used to have a lot of fun singing all night long and just having a having a good old time. You get it? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do you, since it's Sunday, I'm going to do you another gospel song. And this song I wrote with a buddy of mine out in Wyoming by the name of David Stewart. He's one of the best bluegrass songwriters out there. He, he wrote songs like True Grass. Why can't bluegrass be true grass again? And then Bill Monroe's old mandolin and uh, several other number one songs. And we started writing during COVID, and we had never met each other. He's in Buffalo, Wyoming, and I'm uh, down in Florida, and we were writing these songs. And this one, he had written a song called um, Let's Write a Song in the Key of Love. And I... One day I was listening to that, I go, you could turn that around and say, love is the key. And then I came up with a hook saying, fear is the lock, but love is the key. I called him up and I said, I kind of twisted your song around, let's write this. And so we did in the Sal family. Anybody know the Sal fa family, Sal? They recorded this song and, uh, and put it on, one, I think it's somewhere around seven or eight million views now. That, uh, and it's been recorded in other countries, in the Philippines, in India. A, band, a gal in India recorded this song. So it's, it's pretty cool when your songs move all around the world, you know. And I think this message is a perfect message for the, today. It's called uh, Love is a Key. This world is full of trouble, life is full of hate The walls are moving in, seems like no escape But love's the greatest gift that God gave to me and me Fear is the lock, love is the key When the devil on your shoulder, he'll whisper in your ear Telling lies about tomorrow, filling you with fear. You can stand up to Satan when you're down on your knees. Cause fear is the lock, love is the key. Fear is the lock, love is the key. Call on his name, he'll set your spirit free. Jesus cut the master key that day on Calvary. Fear is the law, love is the key. It don't matter if you're rich, hungry or poor. We're all the same when despair is at the door. There's nothing on this earth God's love can't defeat Fear is the lock Love is the key Fear is the lock Love is the key Call on his name He'll set your spirit free Jesus cut the master key That day on Calvary Fear is He'll set your spirit free. Jesus cut the master key the day on Calvary. Fear is the law. Love is the key. Jesus cut the master key that day on Calvary. Fear is the law. Love is the key. We'll go 
hold about another 15 minutes. Is that all right with you? Sing three or four more songs. Anybody got any requests of any kind? Yeah, we'll do we'll do that one for sure. We'll do that one for sure. Um, this one, I'll do this one. Um, this one I wrote with a, a friend of mine up in northern uh, Florida. And we were going to write a song, and both of us, we didn't know what to write about. And we both of us had a, a folded flag up on our mantles from our dad. And uh, this is, goes out uh, uh, to all the, all the military servicemen and women. Really appreciate them. And uh, this was recorded by Joe Mullins and the Radio Ramblers. And uh, they made a video of it. It was the number one song for Joe. I saw his picture up there. Joe's been here, I guess. And, and uh, <clears throat> if I remember all the words to this, it's called A Folded Flag. He went through hell and back to earn it. Gave them the right to burn it. Bled red, white, and blue till he died. Soldiers pulled it from his pine box, handed it to Grandma. It caught her tears as she said goodbye to a man who gave everything he had for a folded flag. There ain't a book upon that shelf Beat the stories he would tell Like when the ramp fell down And they stormed Utah Beach Son, we were scared But when we seen him That eagle screamed for freedom You could hear the thunder As we started raining steel But so many gave everything they It sits proudly on my mantle, so I never take for granted those who stood and served, no questions asked. Some say wars, we don't need them, but they sure do love this freedom. Me, I'm thankful for the ones who breathe their last for a folded flag. Every now and then I sit and talk with him Say a prayer there on the Arlington grass Lord, take care of this great nation And this don't care generation Cause there's a few, a few around like old granddad Who are willing to give everything they For a folded flag It sits proudly on my mantle So I never take for granted Those who stood and served No questions asked Some say wars, we don't need them But they sure do love this freedom And I'm thankful for the ones Who breathe their last For a folded flag. Well, let's see. What should I do now? Um, God didn't choose sides. God didn't choose sides. We can do that one. Um, that one I probably don't remember anymore. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll tell you, I'll sing you a brand new song. This is brand new. This is uh When you get up when you start getting up in the age, you know, long in the tooth, you write songs about getting older or about old people. And uh this is uh 
This is a song I wrote and through a lot of th things that I, it's just a lot of personal feelings about things, but it's about a guy that turned 99 years old and gives his uh, wisdom on living life. And it's called Two Fingers of Tennessee Whiskey. I hope someone will cut this because I really think Caleb Daughtry, you know, Caleb, he needs to sing this song right here. The old man turned 99 today. His smile brought out the wrinkles in his face. We all gathered round to blow the candles out. He joked, you could see that fire from space. Through a century of trials and hard times. I asked him for his secret to long life. Not at all what you'd expect when I heard the words he said. You know, I kind of shook my head at his reply. He said, worry is going to kill you just as sure as any knife. Have a few friends you can count on and a good loving wife. Every night, play your guitar. Smoke a fine cigar and drink two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. Oh, drink two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. Everything you do, do out of love. waste a chance to give a hug believe in your own voice and don't listen to the noise see the small stuff don't really matter much and you know a lie will do more damage than you think and hate is like a poison that you drink so be quick to mend a fence. Trust God and common sense. Oh, life goes by fast. You'll miss it if you blame. He said, worry is gonna kill you just as sure as any knife. Have a few friends you can count on and a good loving wife. And every night, play your guitar. Smoke a fine cigar and drink two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. Don't drink two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. Well, that night I pulled out my old guitar. I lit up my finest Cuban cigar. Then raising up my glass to honor that old man, I drank two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. Oh, I drank two fingers of Tennessee whiskey. This is, this is a song that Junior Sisk recorded. I love Junior. And I'd been pitching songs to Junior for probably 10 years and he never wanted to record. He wouldn't record any of them. And so finally, this one I wrote with my buddy Dale Pied again. He gave me the, you know, we talked about ideas and we put this together. And I said, if Junior doesn't record this song, I'm never gonna send him another song in his life. And, uh, if people know Junior, he spends about half the year in a deer stand. It's just the way he is. And so I finished this song, and we finished it up, and 
and I did a little demo of it, and I called Junior on the phone. I said, Junior, where are you at? He said, I'm up in a deer stand. And I said, well, I got a song for you. And I said, if you don't record this, it's, your, it's a song. It's right up your alley. I said, if this don't fit you, I'm never, ever going to send you another song. So he said, well, go ahead and send it on. Well, he listened, must have listened to it in the tree. Ten minutes later, he called me back. He says, that's my song. He says, I got to cut that. It's called Ain't Nothing Wrong With That. And you can sing along with this one, too. It says, Ain't Nothing Wrong With That. They played this for a little while on, the, on XM Radio, but I think it's kind of an anti-country song. So I think they stopped playing it because of that. I don't know. Remember the first word? My wife always told me you should have the first line of every song up here so I remember it. I wish that I was handsome, but those days are long gone now. I'm just a worn out country singer, dragging this old voice around. But when I hear the latest music, it always leaves me flat. I'm just a three-chord singer, ain't nothing wrong with that. When music chases money, in the end you'll find it might fill your pockets, but won't satisfy your mind. So I, I'll just sit here singing to three dogs and a cat. I'm a star my front porch ain't nothing wrong with that see I spent all my younger years trying to make it on my own my music dreams still living it's just a living here at home and I'm out on my porch swing in my overalls and hat Just a singing to the fireflies Ain't nothing wrong with that When music chases money In the end you'll find It might fill your pockets But won't satisfy your mind So I'll just sit here singing to three dogs and a cat I'm a star on my front porch Ain't nothing wrong with that Well, nothing ever moved me Like Haggard, Cash, and Jones Their songs hit me way down deep Where music meets the bone but the heart and soul is gone now And there's no turning back So I'll just sing my memories Ain't nothing wrong with that When music chases money In the end you'll find It might fill your pockets But won't satisfy your mind So I'll just sit here singing Three dogs and a cat I'm a star on my front porch Ain't nothing wrong with that I'm a star on my front porch Ain't nothing wrong with that Ain't nothing wrong with that I'm going to do, this is a new song too. I'm going to do two more songs. We'll do Beyond the Rain last. We'll just, that's a good song to go home on. Anybody ever been to a river baptism? This song, I think, is going to be recorded by Larry Cordell here if he ever gets back in the studio. And a uh, guy named Greg Blake. And... Uh, I wrote this with a, a buddy of mine, David Coriel. I don't know if you know anybody, you know, he lives down in Webster, I think, around that area. <clears throat> and this one's, 
if you can picture this, this is just called my old swimming hole. And it's a semi-true story. I'll do this one for my wife, Jan, over there, because she likes this one. <laughs> it was the dog days of summer, a hot July breeze. I was sitting on the creek bank just a cooling my feet. When I heard people talking down a path through the trees, soon the whole congregation came a walking past me. All of them sinners came a walking past me. Preacher man leading the way. He stopped at the creek's edge, then he started to pray. He said, God, we give thanks to you for this day. With crystal clear waters, these souls you will save. The blood of our Savior, these souls you will save. And he walked across the rippling waters, waded into the deep. He cleansed their souls in my old swimming hole, and their sins washed down to the sea. Their sins washed down to the sea. Neath the shade of a willow, the Lord spoke to me. And I found myself standing waist deep in that creek. As crystal clear waters poured over my face, the power of salvation took my sins away. salvation washed my sins away and he walked across the rippling waters waded into the deep he cleansed my soul in my old swimming hole and my sins washed down to the sea my sins washed down to the sea This song I wrote on, I was uh, driving down I-70 through Zanesville. Everybody knows where that is. And I got this idea driving. I think I was listening to the radio real low. And uh, for some reason I thought the radio said beyond the rain. And I don't know what, I just thought it said that, you know. And I had, I had stopped, you know, there's a McDonald's right there at the Zanesville exit, and I had stopped for a biscuit. And uh, so I had a pile of napkins and a pen in the cup holder. And the, the words to this song started coming to me so fast, I wrote this on the whole, whole song on the steering wheel of my car going 70 mile an hour <laughs> down the interstate. And I, to this, and, I, and people that know me know I tweak songs for weeks on end. And this song, when I got home in, back to Pickerington, 
I went in the house and I played it, and uh, it uh, uh, it was recorded originally by a band called Pine Mountain Railroad, along with the Isaacs, and it became the gospel song of the year in 2007. And, uh, so, and I know some of you, most of you, a lot of you, heard this, and we'll end with this one. And I sure appreciate you all coming down and and listen to an old guy sing a bunch of songs, but, uh, but I sure appreciate you could do a lot of things on your day, and, uh, and it means a lot uh, as, as songwriters to be able to sing songs to that. And so everybody had a great trip home, and I hope this song blesses you. It's uh, Beyond the Rain. When skies are getting dark, Clouds are moving in when the storms of life fill our hearts with pain. Just let the Savior in, for when we trust in Him, He will lead us beyond the rain, beyond the rain. There'll be no more dying. No more crying, no more pain. When we put our lives in the hands of Jesus, he will lead us beyond the rain. it on our own still heartache and emptiness remain if we hold on to God's hand he will lead us to a land where his sun will always shine beyond the rain beyond the rain there'll be no more dying no more no more pain when we put our lives in the hands of Jesus he will lead us beyond the rain see the battle has been won God sent his only son to fulfill the promise of his and if only we believe, oh, what a gift we will receive to live with Jesus beyond the rain, beyond the rain, there'll be no more dying, no more crying, no more pain. In the hands of Jesus, he will lead us beyond the rain. When we put our lives in the hands of Jesus, he will lead us beyond the rain. Thank you all so much. Thanks for coming. We always end with a, uh, with a rock band and repeat song. Okay. Randy, will come up here and lead us. Folks, I thank you all for coming out and being with us. Get a chance. We hope to see you come back. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Fifty dollars. <laughs> There you go. You can read it. Do you want the number? Can you say it? Want me to say it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, you got mine. All right. The winning ticket is 524, not Dave. No, sorry. Not Dave. <laughs> I love giving him a rough time. 
Oh. All right. Well deserved. All right. <coughs> Brink, you can join us with this. <coughs> Brink, you're more than welcome to sing along with us. This is just for everybody usually gets up and sings. It's been here. Gives a G chord. Well, we'll get, get Brink on up here. Off, like oh, yeah. He's just an old acapella tune. All right. My Bible tells me. My Bible tells me. My Lord has gone. My Lord has gone. For me to prepare. Kentucky Just Us will be their first time with us on July 23rd. Thank you very much. Thank you. 